All right, so in this video, I'm gonna showcase to you how to record picture-in-picture -picture style videos, especially if you're trying to do things like reaction. So let's say you want to react to some short, right? You got uh, some Spider-Man video. One is Cosmic Spider-Man. And the video's playing, you can hear the audio in the background, they're talking about Spider-Man. Or if it's not a short that you're reacting to, uh, maybe it is, um, uh, a regular style of video. Um, Sony just released their uh, new cinema camera, actual cinema camera called the Burano. Uh, but let's say you're watching that, you want to react to it. Boom, amazing camera. Wow, awesome. Pretty unique. So how do you go about doing this picture-in-picture -picture style video using a software, a free software called OBS? Stay tuned. That's what this video is all about. All right, so uh, there's a couple things that I'm going to make uh, as an assumption with relation to whenever you're recording video. This entire video is being recorded on my computer using OBS. Um, I am recording uh, on a Canon EOS M6 Mark II, but that's not really important. You can record on any camera uh, so long as you are able to feed a video signal from the camera into your computer. The way I've done it, which I found gives me the best quality, is to use um, what, uh, like a, uh, what's it called? Uh, to use a Camlink uh, Elgato 4K uh, USB device. Essentially, it's a video capture card. You plug into the HDMI, uh, you plug into the USB of your computer, it has an HDMI input. And so that HDMI input then uh, converts that signal into something that the computer can then process. So you need to have that set up. Um, I'm not going to go through that. What I want to do is I want to showcase to you once you've installed and set up OBS on your system, how to get those picture in picture setups. So the first thing that you want to ensure is that your settings. So this is the OBS interface I am recording right now. Uh, and so that is why everything looks the way it does. So if we go to settings and then when settings pops up, uh, you will look at the output in terms of recording quality. So you want to ensure your, you have your recording directory in terms of where it's going to record. It's recording to the default videos folder on my computer. In terms of recording quality, I always set it to indistinguishable quality, large file size, MP4, and it is encoding using whatever hardware my computer is at. So I leave that as such. Once you have that, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel because I don't want to change anything because I am recording as of this video. Once you have that in play, what you want to do is go to your browser, right? So open up, uh, so in this case, I've opened up uh, a video short, whatever short that you want to play, right? You go ahead and open up that um, screen. And then from OBS, what you got to do is you got to hit the plus sign. And then from that plus sign, you go to video uh, window capture. From window capture, then you kind of name this, you can name this shorts, right? Whatever it, whatever is relevant or important to you. Sometimes I just leave it as window capture one, two, three or whatever. Uh, and then uh, from here, you can select what is the window that you're capturing. So right now, what window? It's actually, cause I'm also doing a screen recording. Uh, and so it's capturing that bit. What I want to do is I want for this thing to select the Chrome window. And so boom, right away, you can see um, that the short that I want to play back as a reaction is already selected. And so from here within this video, it, now this is the thing I can move my window wherever on my screen, this is not going to move. So one thing that you, you look at is, or, you know, you got the YouTube thing over here. How do we not include all that? So you'll notice there's the red outline as such. All you got to do is uh, hover over one of the corners until you get the resize icon. And then from there, you press and hold Alt on your keyboard. And then that will allow you to frame up the, uh, while well, you got to make sure you press and hold the Alt key. And it'll allow you to frame up the, uh, the, the video frame as such. And then once you let go of the Alt key, you hover over the corners again, and you can resize the video as you see fit. And so, boom, there you go. Now, this is a good way to react to shorts. And if you ever want to um, repurpose this video by making it into a, a short itself, you can always kind of um, recut the video however you see fit. So, and then from here, you just play back the short. 
Although he only and had uh, you'll see that the audio is playing back, talking about Spider-Man or whatever, and uh, it'll catch your reaction. Was now, the cool thing about the cool thing about this kind of setup is that, first of all, reaction is a genre on YouTube that's very popular, uh, and so if you're looking to build out a following, uh, you're looking to get started on YouTube. This is one of the simplest and easiest ways to do that, and so this requires no editing on your part. Uh, you just make sure you press record and you queue up whatever videos that you want to react to and you press play and then you start reacting to it and so that's really it that's how you do shorts now if you want to do something that's uh something else like a normal size video so for example this is a regular size video it's the same idea right so i would just go ahead and create another window capture and then call this wide video um I'm calling it wide video for context. From there, you select which window that is, Sony Burano, right? Click OK. And then from here, reposition that. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard. Resize the framing that is on OBS. And then drag that to the appropriate size. And then you can reposition that. Once you let go of the Alt key, you can reposition it. You can resize it um, however you see fit. And then you can... Uh, oh, before you press play, make sure your other shorts window is deselected. So from here, you just hit the eyeball and that'll make it invisible or visible, however you want to see it. And so that's it, right? And then you go ahead and press play and boom, so you're talking about down, the Sony and I am reacting to the really announcement of this camera. Sony cinema camera uh, and people are swimming on a boat and showcasing the footage or whatever. So that's really it. And so... Um, it's as simple as that. Once you have that, you can um, uh, make it invisible, record your reaction, what your thoughts are on this, give your commentary. And one of the cool things about React videos is that it falls within the um, within the classification of fair use because you're giving commentary uh, on uh, something that's already published. So it's not like you're infringing upon copyright. So so long as it is within the context of like you reacting. So that's really it. This is as uh, this is one of the simplest things that you can do with relation to OBS and creating content on YouTube. Like you're literally just reacting. People do this with movie trailers. People do this with uh, any and all sorts of videos, announcements. Even today, as of this recording, Panasonic just launched a camera and people are already coming out with React videos. Uh, and so this is one of the coolest, simplest, easiest ways to do that. It's also a great way to uh, give commentary and engage and join the conversation uh, of uh, topics that are trending um, for you to quickly and easily, um, you know, share your two cents um, in a way that's relevant and adds value uh, within the space that you want to kind of uh, express your voice in. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll see you soon.